Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Happy and Lin Guagua. This game taking place here on Northern Isle. Happy spawning as the orange undead on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Lin Guagua spawning as the purple orc. Orc versus undead here. Let's go ahead and get this game started and underway. Altar of Storms followed by a barracks. I don't see a war mill yet, so it looks like it will be a blade master coming in from Lin Gua Gua. Meanwhile, Happy off to the north here, opening things up with a Death Knight, Tomb of Relics, Ziggurat, and a Crypt. No real surprises here as this game is getting underway. Back on classic Northern Isle. All right, so Northern Isle, a map that, well, it feels like not too long ago, we just saw a lot of games played on it. Now, um, with the map rotation and a, such a strong collection of maps, it um, it's just a fresh to see games being played across different maps now. I, I did believe I thought it was going to be a Blade Master, but instead it's going to be a Farseer with a Lone Grunt first. There is that War Mill being built in the back and a second Orc Burrow as well. So Farseer first here, getting Claws of Attack plus 5. Both sides going to continue to fight and engage here. Are we going to see that Acolyte trying to back away? Yes, that Acolyte down to 12 hit points. One more hit from that wolf. Nope, Our Farseer going to go ahead and get the kill there. Coming back around, Farseer, a little bit of bonus damage here. Perhaps going to drop some a new Spirit Wolves as we are getting in some Headhunters to try and speed up creeping. Death Knight, off to the north, has picked up a Ring of Protection plus four. Not the item that he was looking for. Does have um, a Ritual Dagger, but doesn't have a Sacrificial Skull, even though he sold his Scroll of Town portal. So with that, um, I believe it, yeah, he has a faster tech to tier two by selling that scroll of town portal. And well, kids don't try this at home. Uh, Happy obviously knows what he's doing to, to get that little bit of a faster army or a, a faster tech to tier two. Um, you know, your mileage may vary um, in that, well, your, your starting hero could easily get surrounded and killed if you are not careful. Death Knight, uh, well, Happy always has been a cold, calculating, um, risk versus reward type of player. And, well, continuing with that strategy now. Well, it actually makes me wonder, though, if you click on your opponent's hero as an un uh, going up against an undead um, as he's fighting out in the middle of the battlefield, and you don't see a scroll of town portal, would your mind naturally think that he has an expansion already set up, especially since, um, well, he has those expansion items uh, or the creep items from that expansion. So you would just naturally think, hey, you know, that's what he went for. That's what he's going for. And then when you finally go to scout it out, you don't see the expo. And instead, you see the lich with obsidian statues. And that might be the play here where you purposely give your opponent false information or limited information, making it look like you go in one direction. And then suddenly when if, say, for instance, Orc tries to expo, finally finds himself behind the tech as the lich, those obsidian statues and um, just causing a, 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 a big, big army spike overall. All right. Death Knight now looking to retreat back here. Ghoul is looking to fall back. Meanwhile, Farseer is sitting at level 3. Going to be able to clear out the remainder of this creep camp as well. And he, well, does a reveal. I don't think he revealed off to the north. So he doesn't know if there's an expansion there as of yet. But the Farseer with that crystal ball, um, that will definitely belt and benefit him and perhaps not fall into that misdirection play. All right, summoning up a couple of spirit wolves. Headhunters are there. Dark Ranger as the second hero. All right, so this is the reason why he wanted that Dark Ranger um, out much, much earlier. And by getting the tier two faster and then getting that Dark Ranger, that is an immediate and direct impact on the middle of the battlefield since, well, the Dark Ranger is already at the battlefield. All right, a bunch of items were sold there. The Death Knight had a large number of items, sold a fair amount of them, um, or actually gave a fair amount of them to the Dark Ranger and then sold some as well. All right, what is that Dark Ranger going to do next? Dark Ranger does have, is primarily an agility-based hero, so has plus 11 attack already, and with those black arrows could really rack up quite a bit of damage. Scroll of Town Portal being forced already against the opponent, that Dark Ranger right there with Skeletal Minions and a Death Knight forcing a Scroll of Town Portal 
for that Farseer and those Headhunters. Tech to Tier 3 already um, started here. Slaughterhouse already started as well as we are going to be going into well going into that lich as well uh, um, so the dark ranger perhaps going to get some skeletal minions that's going to be some easy easy kills there death knight um trying to get that last shot off there there goes a skeletal minion um, or a skeletal minion going to get spawned back up and now do a bit of scouting no obsidian statues as of yet as that slaughterhouse is still not yet done but really happy making some quick quick plays out across the field torrent chieftain now going after I'm now trying to get leveled up Endurance or a level 4 now on the Farseer. That means no Stomp as of yet. Endurance or a faster, slightly faster movement speed as we should be going into Tier 3 for that Berserker upgrade on all of those Headhunters. There is that Obsidian statue, Tech to Tier 3, nearly done. And what is this? The Death Knight going to try and clear out this Magnetar Reaver Creep Camp before um, he even gets an Obsidian statue out here. And well, with very, very limited um, limited units. How, um, quick, quick spot by Lin Gua Gua, able to scout this out. There goes a Chain Lightning taking down a low hit point ghoul and still trying to do a little bit of trailing damage here. All right, Death Coil trying to save that um, one low hit point. Um, Ghoul, Ghoul still going to get taken down. Farseer able to rack up quite a bit of damage and still trying to chase after those units as well. All right, Obsidian Statue is out here on the battlefield. Lich should be, um, well, the next thing to be joining out on the battlefield here once that Halls of the Dead is done. Meanwhile, well, Wind Riders are taking to the skies now. 39 supply compared to 42. Farseer sitting at level 4. Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 1. Death Knight clearing out this Magnetar Reaver creep camp or attempting to um, while well, pulling these units away a little at a time. A bit of a stun there. Perhaps they're going to be able to get the Ogre Magi, some of these other units, just separate them um, one at a time to finish them off. Magnetar Reaver now making its way back over. All right. As the Dark Ranger now still launching some arrows. Farseer coming back around trying to put in pressure trying to make sure that happy can't play the game that he wants as the magnetar reaver now actually stuck up against the trees all right so the farseer here is trying to well figure out how to get that last hit on that unit here perhaps trying to take down some of these units who's going to get the experience that is the question and it most likely will be the death knight yeah death knight gets the experience gets up to level four dark ranger picks up a, a legion of doomhorn that will quickly be sold as well the undead already has a better unholy aura. Finishing off the shamans here and the ogre warrior. That will get taken down. Lich already out on the battlefield with that orb of corruption. Uh, perhaps trying to figure out where that far seer is now. Meanwhile, on the top left, the Torrent Chieftain hoping to perhaps divide and conquer and take down the top left creep camp here um, by separating these units just a bit. All right, here we are. Here we go. There's a little bit of damage, but there is no Envenom. Oh, no, there is Envenom Spears. So that Envenom Spears means that that Magnetar Reaver actually is going to get cleaned up pretty quickly, um, trying to ra add in a little bit of damage. That was Chaos Damage instead of Piercing. That is the reason that why the Wind Riders were able to stick around for so long however undead already showing up here trying to cause a little bit of problems torrent chieftain um, denying that grunt there lich looking to finish off the remainder of this creep camp here trying to get a little bit of experience torrent chieftain now making its way back over a healing wave stomp chain lightning still bouncing around scroll of speed perhaps going to try and go after some of these targets as you can see that destroyer taking quite a bit of damage and now trying to retreat back meanwhile the torrent chieftain going to go ahead and get a stomp down trying to finish down some of these crypt fiends or perhaps some of these other ground units as the berserkers have been upgraded all right both sides fighting their way through death quail onto a low hit point wind rider as it backs away in time one wind rider however getting splashed added out of the sky here as the death knights with illusion difficult to spot which one is the real one throwing down a stomp again torrent chieftain able to put in that pressure as the death knight still looking to fall back once more healing wave should be available no no longer available shadow hunter currently low on mana but does have an orb of lightning interestingly enough on the shadow hunter perhaps that should be given to the torrent chieftain giving it the ability to attack air and, and take down or at least a stun down or purge those destroyers as they are trying to retreat 41 supply compared to 50 um death knight still wandering around here death knight level four dark ranger level three lich sitting at level one nearly level two meanwhile lin gua gua sitting on a four three one farseer torrent chieftain and shadow hunter 
units have retreated back. We are sitting at Fortress versus Black Citadel, obviously, since we have three heroes on both sides. But oddly enough, no reinforced defenses as of yet. So if the undead try to come across here with an army of Crypt Fiends, um, they will be able to deal a large amounts of damage. Even if we have Obsidian statues turn into destroyers, that will translate into a lot of destruction as well. Tiny Great Hall being placed down here. That great hall should be operational momentarily and with that perhaps the economic advantage will be enough a couple of webs now being brought over here there goes a stop in that frontline position chain lightning trying to bounce around as well healing wave as well trying to keep those units alive torrent chieftain in that frontline spot here that strength and intelligence allowing that torrent chieftain to put his foot down more often and will engage against all of these ground units that's what every dad needs to be smarter and stronger so that their kids listen to him when he puts his foot down. Torrent Chieftain coming back around here. Obsidian Statue going to take to the skies. Perhaps try and devour some magic and go after some of these other targets here. Destroyer trying to put, put pressure on the other way. A purge on to a ghoul there. But that's just going to get stopped temporarily as the Torrent Chieftain puts his foot down again. But loses the Shadow Hunter. Uh, one of his, well, partners in, partners in battle. Off to the north here. The... Uh, well, the Great Hall is mining freely, but will get it taken down quickly. Lin Gua Gua experimenting with, a, with this expansion here on the top left, only to see it get absolutely punished. I'm trying to expand in the direction of his opponent a bit too much. Perhaps should have taken this southern expansion instead. Shadow Hunter now getting resurrected. We're looking at 40 supply compared to 42. Wind Riders, remember, are heavy supply units. Four supply units, even though they only have 570 hit points, they get simply blasted out of the sky far too quickly, it feels like. Um, especially with the undead's ability to web down um, web down those um, uh, targets there. All right, in comes an obsidian statue. Obsidian statue trying to back away down to 300, down to 195 hit points already. That damage is racking up and at, well, an easy shot there to finish it off. Meanwhile, an additional Wind Rider going to try and join and take its place here as we are going to, well, perhaps go after these Acolytes. All right, no, actually going to go after these buildings. This is not a, exactly what you want to be doing with these Wind Riders as they're now looking to back away. Squirrel of Town Portal, not in time to web down any of these Wind Riders here. Sh Shadow Hunter, Wind Rider, working, the, working once more. Death Knight launching the attacks. Torrent Chieftain wanting to get his put his foot down, but there's just not that many ground units overall anymore. Once the Crypt Fiends are within range of those Wind Riders, they will get webbed down here. So the Torrent Chieftain has to play a dangerous balance between the two. All right, Berserkers also only dangerously low on hit points as both sides are going to try and perhaps fight and get underway 44 supply compared to 48. Looking to engage here. Torrent Chieftain now making its way back down. There's a web. Here's an engagement. As the well, webbing going to go and take down one Wind Rider quickly. Big stomp here, but the only one Crypt being getting sh uh, scouted out. More and more engagement. Another purge onto a Destroyer. Torch Destroyer will get taken down. Torrent Chieftain now seeing that level 4. Does have level 2 Endurance Aura and now puts his foot down trying to finish off some of these Crypt Fiends as well. Destroyer trying to devour magic those uh, Shadow Wolves, but unable to do exactly that as this is starting to work out extremely well not work out well for anyone there is still one wind rider here one destroyer but all, if you're not a hero not part of the main crew well you are just fodder in this battle going back and forth torn chieftain trying to go after the other way here perhaps trying to go after that death knight death knight getting a little bit stomped in or in trouble getting purged down as well damage are we going to see a stomp here there is a little bit of damage there's a chain lightning no stomp Death Knight, or Torrent Chieftain, unable to throw down the stomp as the Death Knight is looking to retreat back down to 37, 38 hit points. All right, is it going to be enough trying to retreat back? There's a Chain Lightning a split second late there as the Death Knight, well, gets stomped down now. Death Knight going to end up falling and a beautiful game and a beautiful bit of micro coming in from Lin Gua Gua um, as well. A Wind Rider gets taken down only to see a quick hex onto the Dark Ranger. All right, not quite enough, man. Are we going to see enough damage? Yes. The final attack from the Farseer on the back of the Dark Ranger finishes the job. 
And in the last 10 seconds of the game, Happy loses his Death Knight and that Dark Ranger. A beautiful, beautiful battle going back and forth. No clear winner. And Happy just almost slipping right there. Ends up losing his heroes. So plenty of opportunities, um, but Lingwagwa played a great micro game there. Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.